Today, we will take a look at Obi-Wan Kenobi from Star Wars Episode 1, The Phantom Menace. As a Padawan, Obi-Wan Kenobi was the headstrong apprentice to Qui-Gon Jinn. The two were dispatched to settle a dispute between the Trade Federation and the planet Naboo. But negotiations never took place. The Sith Lord Darth Sidious, orchestrating the Trade Federation's blockade of the planet, ordered the Jedi killed. Obi-Wan and Qui-Gon survived the trap and fled the planet's surface. There, they finally connected with Queen Padme Amidala of the Naboo, fled the planet, and landed on Tatooine. Qui-Gon and Padme crossed paths with a young slave boy named Anakin Skywalker, who was unusually strong with the Force, helping the stranded heroes pay for the starship parts by winning a pod race. Anakin and Obi-Wan met for the first time after a near-deadly attack by a mysterious dark warrior, and the group headed home to Coruscant. In a surprise move, Queen Amidala decided to go back to Naboo to retake the planet, with Obi-Wan and Qui-Gon escorting her. Little did they know that the dark menace from Tatooine, in truth a Sith named Darth Maul, was awaiting their arrival. The two Jedi dueled Maul in a fast, furious battle, which saw Qui-Gon fatally wounded. Obi-Wan continued the fight, but a force push left him dangling above the shaft. Maul toyed with him, kicking Obi-Wan's lightsaber into the abyss, but could not anticipate the Jedi's bold move. He somersaulted over Maul, drew Qui-Gon's Jedi weapon to his hand, and cut the Sith Lord in two. Kenobi ran to Qui-Gon, who, with his dying wish, asked Obi-Wan to train Anakin as a Jedi. And so it was. The Council granted Obi-Wan knighthood, and Anakin Skywalker was named his Padawan. Thank you for watching. Tune in next time to hear another story. May the Force be with you, always.